welcome. This is it's, it's Karen Valoria Miguel, owner and founder of Canada Bliss, handmade crochet hats and accessories. And guess who I have here today? We have, oh, it's this way. We have Cherie Rose from Yours Truly by Rose. And we got something special planned for you today, guys. It's a live stream tutorial for Canva. Like who doesn't want to know how to use Canva, okay? I use a little bit of Canva, but Cherie is like, she is, she's actually one of my students from the Handmade Sales Success Academy. And she is an, like a guru when it comes to Canva, like you've never, never seen. Okay. So we are so fortunate and lucky that she's going to walk us through some things that we can start building our, um, like crochet business skills and that sort of thing on but uh sure like uh Shri, would you like to introduce yourself a bit well let me give you a little bit of an intro okay, okay. you're gonna i hope you adore Shri as much as i do because <laughs> Shri is a teacher by trade and she uh she's a crafter as well of course like like all of us and she's a avid avid crocheter uh, and uh she enjoys making things that are unique and memorable so i believe you do like fiber arts graphic design event planning. So she pulls all of this into her regular career. And we're so blessed that she's coming here to show us how to do these things um, so that we can build our own businesses as well. And um, now, Cherie, she started her own business. So she sells patterns and she does she does fairs and, and sells physical products online too. But her, uh, her business, Yours Truly by Rose, she started in 2016, when her youngest daughter was one, like a lot of us, we kind of like started our small business when our little ones were um, kind of getting started and just doing their own thing. Uh, and, uh, and we were alone building things. <laughs> and um, let's see, and she started her own Etsy shop website and YouTube channel. So she's on YouTube too. So you can visit her on you, um, yours truly by Rose by the same channel on YouTube. Very consistent with her branding. <laughs> Props, Cherie, I love you. And um, she also, ex a, um, she's, a, and of course she's a, a, like, she's excited to be here today. I'm so, so happy that she came here. This was like a few weeks in, the, uh, a couple months in the making that we had planned to do this a long time ago. So Cherie, can you tell us a little bit, did I leave anything out? Can Or like, can you tell us a little bit more about how you got doing this? So like doing Canva stuff or doing just Canva doing stuff and also everything. your own handmade crochet business. Cause as you know, on our channel, we do a lot of like business stuff and a lot of our viewers are crafters makers and also people who are looking to create income from their uh from their crochet and knit and yarn art business so go ahead and tell us like how you got started and then how how you become such a guru in canva <laughs> um well like you said karen um i started my business in 2016 my husband was the start of it um he got me a cricket um which most crafters have. Um, I still want one. I don't have I know, one. I know, but it's 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 so nice to have when you do have it because you can make so many things like shirts and you know stuff like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, and so I um, started just kind of sharing my stuff um, on Etsy, and then um, it kind of evolved into more sales and things. I didn't like obviously quit my job or anything like that. It was just for fun, and then. Yeah, in during the pandemic, I taught myself how to crochet because I had nothing else to do. You um, only I learned how to crochet during the pandemic? 2020. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought you were like lifelong crocheter. No, oh my, my mother was a crocheter. Um, my grandmother was a crocheter, but I was never interested in crocheting. I did cross stitch. Um, oh, wow. And, you know, so I've done that, but in a whole bunch of other crochet or uh, crafty kind of things with painting and you know that sort of thing but never really dabbled in the fiber art until 2020 so now okay. i i do thought a lot. i knew i thought i knew you <laughs> <laughs> now we're like learning stuff. You're like, you're like uh, surprising me on our, on our live, <laughs> but wow. Yeah. And you're, I have to say though, because I've seen your crochet and your stitches are like consistent. You have a fantastic eye for design and to have only been doing it like within the last three years, like clearly you are talented in so many different like crafts. You have an eye for it for sure. So well, well done. You. 
but and then you've brought this all into um brought this all into your regular uh like your all stuff you know too and isn't that the beauty of it like you bring the things you know to the new things you're learning and then it flourishes into something entirely new and amazing yep. so tell me like tell me a bit about that and your experience so um, I, in my day job, I um, work at a university and I'm an event planner, I guess. Um, I'm not really, I mean, I, I guess I'm starting to become the event planner in that department. Um, but I market things. Um, I promote things just like I would for my business. So it really kind of overlaps. And um, when I found out about Canva, I was like, hmm, this is kind of a fun little tool and then I really started using it and I use it every single day when I'm doing things for work, when I'm doing things for my business, um, when I'm doing things for my personal life. Like I made my Halloween um, uh, party invitations for, you know, Canva on that. I mean, it's super easy because it's super quick and they have loads and loads of templates that you can get um, for free. And that's the best part is, you know, there's a Canva free version and there's a Canva pro version. And I have the pro version because I use it so much. And there are so many cool features that you can use for the pro version, but you can still use a lot of really cool things for the free version as well. So Which, yes, that's, yeah, that's one of the things I want to touch on today um, and walk you through it. So you kind of have a comparison. So if you do decide to purchase the pro version, great. You can do that but if you don't want to that's fine you can still make great products so and, th and that's a thing i found fascinating about you because like i dabble in canva but for the most part i've always worked off of photoshop powerpoint and um photoshop powerpoint and pick monkey okay mm -hmm. and a little bit in canva but i do love 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 the templates um and uh so that's that's why i and i'll everyone out there i will be using the free version so you can see the the extent to which you can really take the free version and then if you get like to be like more proficient you can really put more of what sheree will be showing you um to use but then before we hop on to our screen sharing let me say hi to some people who are popping on some of our regulars we got angela hi angela just wanted to say don't forget to let me know where you guys are chirping in from and uh and let's see Gigi the crochet queen hello hi everyone it's good to see good to see you all popping on thank you for coming on oh my gosh you guys are gonna learn so much today we're keeping it like super like we're keeping it fairly simple. Maybe some of the stuff people know, but I'll bet you I don't know a ton. So this is a real treat for me too. And um, Jet J says she she uses Canva for her videos too. See, yep. I wouldn't think to use Canva for videos too. Like I use, I, to this day, and I'm, this is my goal. My intent is to kind of move over from PowerPoint and get more into Canva, maybe even for like my thumbnails and things like that for my YouTube. So um, this is a transition for me too, folks. Um, hey, ladies, Jessica came. <laughs> Jessica, Jess, Jess, uh, Jess is online. And she was saying that um, I think she set five alarms. Where, where did I see that she set five alarms? It's kind of funny. Hold on. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, let's see. Angela Powell, how's Canada today? Oh, Jeche. It looks like Angela and me are in Canada. The weather is insanely beautiful today. I can't Thanks. wait. How's the weather with you? Because I think the last time we chatted, it was zero. Zero was, Celsius. Yeah. It was right? below zero, I think. But yeah, it was 25 on Wednesday. Um, I'm here in Missouri. And you know, Missouri, <laughs> it changes every like 15 minutes. But it's like in the 80s today. So <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? So yeah. good. And it's like, yeah. fall, like, you know, nice, comfortable weather. And then Gloria's joining us. Hey there. Let's see here. And oh, look at Jojo. Jojo, this is really helpful. I don't know if you use, she just woke up. I miss Jojo. <laughs> she's like, if you guys haven't seen her tutorials on the Addy Express and her central, um, like circular knitting, she's, she's a guru too. I, I want to like collab with her, but she's just so, so busy, but it'll happen one day, I assure you. And uh, just making sure I didn't. Um, oh, Jojo's from New Brunswick. And uh, it's a wonderful day there too. Yes, I think this is the last of the really, really good days before it starts getting super cold. But so we'll just appreciate it. And hopefully after this live stream, stay for the whole live stream and then you can go for your hikes, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna hand it over to you, Cherie. And what, 
the format of today is that Cherie is going to be showing us some steps in Canva to get you started if you're just kind of getting to know it or perhaps want to discover some of the features of it. And then I'm going to actually be following along too. And then we'll, I'll, we'll both be sharing our projects along the way. So you'll learn how good a teacher Cherie is right now. And her links are all below too if you wanted to get in touch with her. So Cherie, take it away. All right. Let's see if I know how to do this. Um, you want me to share the, your, your screen? Yes. Okay. There you go. All right. Are we shared? I think we are. So here we go. This is the home screen. This is where everyone, no, don't activate that. Um, this is where we have all of the things that you can have for Canva and it's just canva.com. It's very easy to get there. Um, you have tons and tons and tons of uh, templates here but we're going to go ahead and jump right into, um, I have a project saved right here. See, there's the thumbnail for today's live um, as well. So let's get started. So I just have this um, template that I brought up. I literally just typed in fall. Um, so you can you know, type that in as well if you want, um, but it's just a basic, uh, background and it, the original template says hello September, but um, I changed it to fall because I really wanted to emphasize obviously fall and fall fashion, which is what we're going to be doing today, at cool. least on this template. Okay. So just, <laughs> so it's templates mm -hmm. so from, for the free version, it would be home templates and then just choose a template. Yep. Okay. If you want to, if you want to do fall, if you want, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's up to you if you want to search, but the search button is really easy to, to navigate through too. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm going to choose, I guess, a Thanksgiving theme. So, okay, cool. Sure. You go ahead. Cool. All right. And then we also want to make sure that you have an Instagram post template because we're going to be doing this like we're posting to Instagram. Okay. So that's another thing. Sorry. I kind of forgot about that part. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. So I. I'm with you. I'm going to share there. There's mine. So, so far, so good. <laughs> Go ahead. Good. All right. So um, first things first, we don't really need the flowers um, because we're not going to do any kind of spring or, you know, that kind of thing. So we can just delete those. Um, I like the bubbles. That's kind of fun. And this all, they're all different, you know, pieces. So you can move it around and that sort of thing. Um, or you can get rid of it. But I really like the bubbles. I'm going to keep them. I don't know if they're bubbles or dots, but either way, I'm going to keep that. So let's start with, if I can get that one highlighted, we're going to delete. Well, we're going to keep that one. Let's keep that one. So we're going to double click on it. If I can, there we stop. There we go. I am, I too, am tr I'm looking for here, I'm going to try to make this bigger. I too am, oh no, I better not block out any of that. I'm looking for a photo that I can put in the middle. So mm -hmm. that's where I am right now. I'll share too as we go. Um, All right. So I moved the regular stuff or whatever over here, uh, the hello, and I'm going to change it to just in time. I'm going to say fall. And then you can move that and adjust it. And then here I have um, a collection. Obviously it's too big. So you go up here to the um, text, just like you would like in Word. And I'm gonna change it to, let's see, 75. Okay, that's way too small. Better. So what are the principles? What are the cons like principles we should be thinking about as we're doing all of this? Like, so the biggest thing you want to keep in mind is um, if you have branding already. So if you are already like, I have products, I want you know my product name to be out there. You want to make sure that it's showcased so you can tell you know by looking at the image. Okay, this is what I'm selling, this is what I'm advertising, and this is why. Okay. So are you bringing in an image as well as your yes. your logo? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. So with images, I've got um, an upload over here, and there's all the fun things. 
Um, so I'm going to do, let's see, my honey badger collection is down here. There's one. And you can, um, these were already um, done. I have some other ones in this down here. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Okay, so let's see here. Maybe I should pick a different template. Maybe one that like feature, like has something that features, like a, like is already kind of set up for a photo to be dragged in. Do you well, think you that could. Or I can just. You can just add, see how I'm doing? Just adding the photos. You just click ah, the photo. Ah, okay. Lovely, yeah. Lovely. Okay. So let's do that. And you want to try to have um, it kind of a rule of thumb is you want to have uh, three or an odd number. So three photos are best unless you want to just do a single one photo oh. um, when you're highlighting things, because that way, you know, cause this is a collection. I want to share showcase my collection. Um, so this is all of my honey badger collection. Um, okay. Cool. Okay. Which so I, my, which is my stitch, just so you know, <laughs> while you're doing that, I am going to, I changed my template <laughs> actually. Oh, okay. So I changed, I changed my temp template and when I, I'm going to follow along, oh, actually, no, maybe I'll change it back. I'm going to change it back to the one I had before. And um, so I'm going to follow along with the concepts of what you said. So I am, while you're working on yours, I'm going to take the wording out, mm -hmm. the wording's out, wording's out. And then actually I probably shouldn't have done all that. I'll, t I'll leave one in in case I need fo like font for it for later. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go into elements. Oops. No, not elements, templates, uploads. Okay. And I'm going to bring in one of my product photos, but, and you, I think I'll stick with just two to kind of focus on for the fall. So this one and this one. Okay, I'll do this. And I'm gonna make her body face inward. Oh, can you flip it? How do yep. you, where, where do I go to flip it? So if you go um, up to the top, it says. Um, Actually, you know what I'll do? She's facing inward, so I'm gonna put her here. There you go, and perfect. Inward, And I'm gonna go here, but show me where to go to flip it. So go to edit image. Well, actually, no, right up at the top, it says flip. Where? Here? Nope, at the top of the... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Look at that. Flip, guys. Flip. <laughs> if you were looking for flip, there it is. And okay, you know what? I I think at the top right, this was kind of eye-catching. So I'm going to leave the yellowy one up here, and I'm going to flip. Flip vertically. There you oh, go. Oh, no, no, no horizontally there we go and then i'm going to flip oh no no see i made the same mistake twice <laughs> there we go and then how do i no i don't want that i don't want that flipped because then the tag ends up on the wrong side um how do i bring forward so if you click on that or you have that image you have the little three little dots yes. right click on that bring and forward. Then it'll say yep um Genius. forward there you go Genius. oh i like it I like it. Actually, you know what? Now they're both facing the same direction. I'm going to see, look at all the skills I'm practicing. I'm practicing doing the same thing again. I'm going to flip it again horizontally. And, and then, and I'm going to, now I like this white font that we have here. So I'm going to leave that in and kind of bring it in over here and adjust it. Like you said, you can pretty much adjust everything you need. Look at that. Okay. Now back to you. All right, so once you get kind of your base on images and stuff you want, size them up how you need to mm -hmm. and make sure that they're still being featured. Um, so like this little guy, if you want him to be kind of a skewed a little bit. Ooh, I like little that. arrow button. Fancy. But then let's say you wanna move this one down here and this one you want up here. See, the one with the snoo, like the cowl, I uh -huh. would flip it so her face is facing inward and it leads the viewer's eyes to the font in the middle. That's yes. what I would do. This one or this one? Uh, the one. one with the blue neck warmer. Yeah. That one, I would flip it uh, horizontally so her eye leads to the words in the middle. 
And so I am going to follow along on this concept and I am going to, how did you get that rotate? Oh, here, here we go. Huh? How do I want this? And make it bigger. And then this one, I'm going to kind of slant this. Um, okay. Oh, I like this. Can I blur the edges? So can I soften the edges? Of the words or the picture? No, the, the square, like kind of faded a bit. So it blends. I think so. I'm not 100% familiar on how that one works. So that might be something for you to. Okay, let's see. Duplicate, replace background link. Uh, I call this the page. Maybe it's a paid thing. See, that's the thing. I'm all, Folks, mm -hmm. I'm using the unpaid version because today I'm being cheap. And uh, <laughs> see, cheap, I know in PowerPoint, <laughs> in PowerPoint, you can blur these edges so they soften. And so I would, I, I sometimes do that. Can you put a white shadow behind it? Yes. How? Let me look. <laughs> Because I don't remember image. how to do it. Oh wait, edit image. Here, look. I'm taking over. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, how do I? Like, oh, there you go. Where? So, um, if you're in that. Oh, shadows. Yes, shadows. Yes, okay. I do know what I'm talking about generally. Yeah, because you know. we, need, as mothers, we read minds. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I want it to be a glow. Oh, cool. Okay. Now, can you change the color of the glow? You can. Yep. Did you see yep. that, folks? I click, double clicked on glow and I clicked the button because I want a white glow. What? Or a gray. Yeah. Look at that. And I'm going to make the size bigger in the background. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. So let's do the same thing here. What did I do? I, I edited image. Edit image. Oh, no, no. Edit image. And then I shadow glow. And then I chose white. So, oh, oh, I love it. Now make sure you bring that other one if you want it thicker. Oh, right, right. The white. I think mm -hmm. they're about the same because I, I stuck to the same kind of format. Okay. The shadow looks about equal. Okay. Back to you, Cherie. Awesome. Okay. So now you've got... Um, this image here, this like weird uh, yellow square, you want to hit up here where it says position and you can go to front or forward. I'm going to hit forward because that, what that does is it brings it up um, to the layers. You see mm -hmm. how it just skipped there. And obviously I don't want to go that far. So I want to go back and that works, but I want to make it smaller. The other thing that's nice about this is it works well with, you know, your um, mouse, but it also works really well with um, like just the, the keystrokes or whatever when you're moving it and adjusting it. So like I'm hitting the button to move just slightly. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, the arrow keys. Yes. All right, I'm gonna move her down. And I wanna make sure that this is, is brought forward again, or actually I'm gonna set this one back. So backward. While we're online, I'm just gonna say hi to some of our regulars who are popping on. Look, we have Maribel. Hi, Maribel. She's saying hi to Gloria Bowman. There we go. And then we have Handmade Designs. Hi, I haven't seen you in ages. Or I, have, I know I haven't had a chance to do a lot of lives, but thank you so much for logging on and joining us today, everybody. And uh, love the headband. Oh, yes. Angela really likes that headband. So, and is this headband pattern on your website? So the pattern is not, but I do sell these finished. Mm -hmm. um, and they will be up on my website soon like i have I, I have a shop downtown or whatever so they're there and then they'll be available online soon and jet uh jet jay also go jet jay goes dutch also said you can also download pictures and such from your computer to canva and use anything you want oh, you yes. absolutely can you would just simply 
I'll just speak to that really quickly. If you need to download, you would go into uploads and you would bring, you would upload your file, click upload your file, and then it would bring you to the, like your browser to where you can bring in stuff from your computer. So that's how you would do that portion. And now Sheree is back here and she's, what she's doing is she's bringing images, like components of the Canva in the foreground and in the background. So then it looks a little, there's more depth and dynamic to the layout of her Instagram template that she's working on. And I am now gonna follow suit, see if I can keep up here. And um, I'm gonna try this while we're doing this. I just changed the font here, but it's too small. So Autumn, I put, I, I typed over, See so if you look here, I typed over and I wrote Autumn Classics, dot, 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 never out of style. Okay, so that's my tagline or whatever. And now for the words, I have the words highlighted and I'm going to increase the size of it until it makes, I think it looks pretty good, right? Uh, Autumn Classics, never out of style. Let's, uh, let's increase this font. Um, Will it wrap around on its own? Oh yeah, it will. And you can adjust it with you know, when you drag the little bar lines or whatever. Oh look, it gets bigger when you drag it. Genius. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that doesn't that doesn't look good. So let's do it like this. Never out of style. And I'm gonna move this. Oh look, I can move all the berries over. I think the berries kind of bring the uh, viewer's eye towards the font. So I'm going to leave that like that. I'm just going to nudge this this way, like you said, and over this way. And I brought this to the foreground. I'm going to see if you said position, right? Yep. How would it look if this was in the front? Nah, I don't like the sharp edge mm -hmm. interrupting this image. So I'm going to bring position, bring that back to the front forward. Okay. I think that's it. And then I'm going to rotate this again a little bit more this way. Drop in the comments, folks. How do you think I'm doing? Is it, am I doing okay? And how's Cherie doing? Let's give her some love. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, and Jaja said, oh, you can change the color of the text too. Yes. Now I think I kind of like the white but let's give it an autumny flare and see if we can change it. So I'm going to click on text color up here on the left side. And now this is a cool feature. So it'll show, it'll pull in the colors from the photos um, that you have already on your image. So you'll see the, the, you know, the fall colors there with the leaves. If you have the pro version, it'll actually pull in the colors from the photos. Uh-huh. Um, so you can really coordinate the colors based on the photos that you have. That is amazing. Okay. Cause look, the palette is here already. You don't have to do that dripper thing like you do in, um, in other applications where you, you have to pull the color off of the image if you've ever done. So that's so cool. Okay. Let me try this. Oh, see now it matches perfectly. That looks, I kind of like the yellow. What do you guys think? Yellow or white? Uh, I like it. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It pulls the palette in. Genius. Now I would take the, um, the thing or the text box Yeah. and move it slightly over so you can get the of style on this, on the bottom line. Like this? Nope. So click on the text box. Okay. okay. And then you see the little, um, the little line thing, not the dot, but the line in between. Line in between. Where the... Um, this one? Yes. So move that. There you go. There you go. Beauty. Okay, where did my rotation thingamabob go? How come I can't rotate this? Are you Where's my little... Oh, it's right there on the on the text. On the... Oh, there it is. Yeah. I think... Okay, because I want to... There, there. Now yeah. it's kind of like equals... Kind of proportionate spacing between... Mm -hmm. Okay, and <clears throat> we're getting like tons of encouragement here. Oh yeah, Jojo likes the yellow. <laughs> Everyone loves the yellow. Yep. Okay, you're doing awesome. Thank you, Jess. Even though I, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm looking for praise. 
Oh, wow. That feature is amazing. It is, eh, Angela? Like, what other application can you just get the palette? This is the free version, too, that I'm using. Totally cool. Okay. Back to um, back to Cherie's share. All right. So if I'm going to go in and edit my photo, because I'm on the pro version, I'll show you. Oh, hold on. Maybe. Oh, I want text. So see, here's the photos and the colors of those two photos. You can hit see all and then it'll show you all three of the photos. So if I want like this color oh. or this color, I can do that because again, this is for the pro version. Okay, wait, what did you do again? So the palette changes in the pro version based on the square you're clicking on? Yes. Really? So if you do, so if you're here, so it says, you know, your photo colors or whatever. So I've got the image here, but then I also have the photos. And if I want to see all of them, because I've got three photos, you hit the see all, and then there's all three photos. And then I've got this teal color that really pulls in from the, um, the cowl. And then I've got like this tan color. How did you, what did you click on to get there again? Photo colors. So if you go to text color, because okay. I'm looking at changing the text color. Okay, walk me through that. I'm just going to try that right now on mine. So if I'm clicking on this one and you're saying it won't work with the free version? It shouldn't, but I mean, I mean, it might. Okay, let me see. So if I'm clicking on the photo, mm -hmm. then I go to edit image? Nope, don't go to click on the text like the you text. did before. Okay, text. And then? And then, and then hit edit text. Like you're, you hit the... Um, color. This one, button. the A, the edit, yeah. that one? Okay. So if I opened up a new box, like say, or, say I text, say I brought in a new, like this is, I wouldn't put this here right now, but say I did this and then I, and then I did edit text. Would it change the, oh yeah, it did. Now I got more reds. Did it? No, it'll be that, but then you can change it. Like if you click on thank you, you can actually change those elements depending on the image that you put in there. Oh, photo so, colors, default yes. colors, see all. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, very cool. Control Z. If you have to back out of anything, Control Z is my favorite yep. thing in the world. And see, there's your photos down there. So it is for the free version too. That's cool. Oh, wow. I thought right? it was a pro version, but yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, I'm going to take so, this thing. Could you pick the, the mustard color from the hat to do as your text? This one? I think oh, so. so. Uh, back to thank you? No, the... um. Let me get rid of this. Yeah. Delete. The text up the yellow or whatever, because I know we like the yellow, but could you change that to the oh. mustard color of the hat? So go to see all. See all. See all. Mm hmm Okay. And then go all the way down to the bottom, that last little... Oh, yeah. wow. Look at the photo that it's referring to. Look at that, guys. <laughs> this is amazing. You could see what photo it's referring to. So if I wanted to match the mustard perfectly of the hat, boom. Or if I wanted to match the blue of this hat, boom. Oh, my gosh. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. I like the yellow. <laughs> I feel like... This is really cool. I'm going to keep the yellow too. Okay, guys, this is so cool. Now, another thing that you guys, um, that I, it took a while for me to actually understand is with it, this auto saves because mm -hmm. it's an online platform. So you don't have to worry about losing your work unless there's an internet glitch or something. Um, but when you want to save it, um, like and change the title of whatever it is, if you go up to the top, uh, where the blue banner is, blue banner. you can click on the text. Yep. Right there. Okay. So go over a little bit more. Share. Nope. Over Down. to the left. To the left. This, this one. Nope. Keep going. You show me on yours. Here we okay. go. <laughs> you go ahead. So like right here, it says Canada bliss collab because that's what I've named it. Right. So you click on it and then you can type whatever you want. Oh, so then that way this basically saves it. So that's what, you know, it, it's called. So the template will automatically be up here. Like the name of the template will be up there. Um, but then you can go in and edit it so you can make it however you want. If you want it, honey badger collection or fall line or whatever. And that makes it, you know, 
easy to find later when you're going through your project pages and your templates and things that you've already created. Okay, let me try that then. Okay, so add to stream. I'm going to the top right, like you said. Mm -hmm. I'm going to click on these words. I didn't even realize you could click on them. I guess I'm just letting things save whatever they're, <laughs> they're yep. defaulting. And then I'm going to call it Autumn Instagram Promo. Promo Post. There we go. Like that. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay, so now it's saved? Yep, it automatically saves. Fabulous. And then what's our next step? So the next thing after you get, um, you know, this kind of look, yeah, I kind of want graphics. So like, not just the fall leaves, like you have Karen or the dots, I want like a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. So let's go over here to elements. And I'm going to type in pumpkin. Look at all the adorable little pumpkins that pulls up. <laughs> cool elements. And now, you can yeah. these little guys, these are the pro version. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that'll, that'll pull up on your, on the free as well. Um, so obviously if you click on that, it's going to pull up and it'll have the Canva logo over it. So you can't use it unless you want the Canva logo over it. So don't do that. Oh, um, <laughs> okay. okay. Good point. Good to know. So I kind of like, Ooh, I like this one and this is a free one because oh. it kind of ties in all the colors. Yes. And I like the, like the whole illustrative kind of style mm -hmm. to it. I'll just say hello to some Jay, it's nice to do the same template and change it a little when you do a series of something and such. Oh, oh yes. yes. Like a like a carousel for Instagram, or if you're doing a campaign for your fall collections. Absolutely. And it looks like Georgetta has joined us. Hey Georgetta, Georgetta from the UK. It's been a while. Hello. I'm glad I'm glad you're able to join us for this Canva tutorial. We've got if you're just joining us now, Cherie Rose from Yours Truly by Rose is taking us through a simple Canva template creation and we're focusing on making a square post for Instagram. So, um both of us are kind of working on a theme for the fall and I'm just following along too because I typically use Canva uh I don't use Canva. I use mostly PowerPoint pick monkey and Photoshop. And she is teaching me how to do all of that in Canva. So if you follow along, you guys can be creating graphics for your Instagram posts and your Facebook posts all day long today, if you want. So going no back, judgment. <laughs> have no judgment. And she's adding, we've put in the images, we've uh, modified the fonts and the text and now she's putting little graphics too so while she's working on that i'm going to hop over and apply what she's just taught us so i went to elements and i am going to search for pumpkins because i think i'll add some pumpkins to my fall theme Ooh, and i like okay she was saying that if you use the pro images then it'll have the little pro logo on it so i'm not going to use that one i'm going to use um i want something light colored Let's see if I can find a oh, a one that's free and light, like this one. Let's drag it in, shall we? Oh, no, I don't want that there. Okay, I'm just gonna. Uh. Okay, so you you definitely have to go on top of the. Now you could just click on it. If you click on it, it'll take you there because if you the way you were dragging it, it would have replaced your background. Oh, image. okay. So let's try it again. So oh, there you go. You just click on it, and it's like magic. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you're like, yes, Karen. So and then I rotate. <laughs> we rotate our little pumpkin. And uh, I wonder if they have yellow ones. I think a yellow one would be super cute, but I don't mm -hmm. want it to overpower the image. So I'm just going to kind of put it here. I'm going to see if I can make a little group of pumpkins. Oh, here's a, a nice white one. Uh, but I, I want one without the logo. So I'll use this. And I'll that one's cute. It. Yeah, isn't it? It looks, this one looks like the pumpkin that you crocheted the other day. Oh, the little, yeah. Yeah. I don't and have that one to show because it's actually in my office at work. <laughs> and I'm going to, I feel like it needs a little green. So I'm going to put, mm -hmm. I'm going to search vine, vines. Is this a pumpkin vine? Do you think? Like, looks pumpkin. -y? So if you go back to pumpkin, I found um, a vine or whatever, a pumpkin vine. If you just oh, scroll down. Oh, I like the richness of this one. Oh, but it's a pro. See, see how it says Canva over the mm -hmm. image? Yeah, we don't want that. So I'm going to, I really want like, 
I'm thinking of, I want something green, but like pretty saturated, uh, like a really nice saturated green. Let me just see. Oh, this is kind of, no, there's, I've got pro on it. Folks, I may use a vine that's not a pumpkin vine if I find one I like. Ooh, they're getting stingy. They're putting, they're getting, putting pro on all the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that always the case? Yep. Uh, I'll just use this one. Actually, that was a pro. This is free. Free. Okay. We're, we like free. And so um, I'll shrink this. Oops. What just happened? Okay. Position. What happened to my, oh, I just shrunk it. Control Z. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. And I am, what am I doing? I'm bringing it over here. I'm going to make it look like it's attached to the pumpkin and rotate it a teeny bit. What do you think? Not bad? Not bad. Now okay. I have to do a group of all three of them. Mm -hmm. So click on the vine. Oh, click on the vine. Okay. And yep. And then, and um, hit, nope, hit your nope. Um, shift key. Shift and then hit on the white but or hit the white pumpkin and the orange pumpkin. Okay, bear with me. I just um it's so funny. I have to quickly take a quick call. So I'm gonna mute myself, okay? Okay. Never mind, I'll text back. Okay, so there we go. Um, okay, so shift. Wait, shift you got the green one, yep, and then hit shift and then hit the um pumpkin the white pumpkin mm -hmm. while you're holding oh, you shift. group it yep and then hit shift um keep holding shift down and hit the orange pumpkin orange group and then go up to the top where it says group okay group ah. and then you just grouped them all so now you can adjust it just a little ah, bit go down a little together. bit there you like go this genius genius okay i'm back to you miss all right so i found this vine and so I like that kind of, you know, hovering over a little bit, but I don't like this font. I want to do a different font here. And we haven't really talked too much about fonts. So click on the text and then it automatically defaults to the, the moon time or whatever, which is what that font is. When you have the pro version, it'll actually give you like here, yours truly really by Rose. These are your set fonts. So these are the fonts that you pick that you like, that you want to use in all of your imaging and that sort of thing. So again, consistency, that's a big rule in marketing. Um, you want to make sure that whatever, you know, branding you have, it's consistent throughout all of your marketing things. So people know it's really you. That's a good point, Cherie. I like how you pointed that out that you, you have see my, um, okay. So going back to mine, I tend to, I know I'm, kind of boring. <laughs> I use kind of block fonts because if I use new applications, I can always count on, um, what's it called? I can always count on finding a block font, but, uh, and I don't have to import a, a bot, like a, a font that I purchased to, to every application. Um, let me just see. Uh, hey, hey, Kathy. Oh, wait. Oh, people are saying hey to Kathy. I think Kathy Kalinowski's here. Oh, our dear Kathy. Hello, my dear. Shout out to Kathy. Hello, Thank you Kathy. for joining with Kathy. This is your jam. This is your jam. Okay. I hope you were with us since the very beginning. Now you were saying click on the font and then choose a font that's consistent with your branding. Now, yes. this is a question. Um, do you need to, can you say I did buy a font? Like, I know that I sometimes use, like, um, I have one called Blend. Can you upload fonts to Canva? Yes. Oh, how? Um, I have the Harry Potter font. <laughs> I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd, hence uh -huh. why my collection is called the Honey Badger Collection. Um, <laughs> if you don't know anything about Harry Potter, educate yourself. It's amazing. Anyway, um, <laughs> so um, you can download it like you normally would. Um, so the font... Um, like dafont.com has a whole bunch of um, fonts there. You click on that, you download it, and then you can upload it um, into 
like your normal computer setting. And I, it's, it's kind of complicated and I don't okay. know. If we'll leave that for like a future, yes. future tutorial. <laughs> When you want to really, maybe we'll have like a Canva Pro one where we bring in some features that you commonly will need to do. Guys, yeah. you'll have to tune in for the future. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Because if we ever do another one with Cherie, we're going to keep building on our skills to help us do graphics and do marketing materials for our businesses. Okay, so now we choose a font that's consistent. Oh, wait. So with me, I actually like Montserrat because it looks like Calibri, which is like the same font that I use for my original logo. So I think I'm going to keep that. And mm -hmm. it's easy to read, especially if you're just scrolling through Instagram posts or Facebook posts. It's not hard to, on the eyes to make out like, boom, Autumn Classics, never out of style. The, and like the message is out. That's that's easy to read. So um, now... I think I'll, that's what I'll choose. And you have changed yours to F E F co. I don't know. Brookshire. That's one of my, my image, the image is that it's free on Canva, but I, that's one of my logo images or whatever. Ones that I like for my logo. Now say here, like this is kind of spaced out a little bit and you don't want it to be spaced out, or maybe you want it to be spaced out more. If you click the, um, arrow button up here, it says spacing. You can actually make it so, Aaron, hold on a second. Let me see if I can, I'm gonna move it down over here just so you can watch it actually adjust. Just while you're saying this so much, LOL, Cherie is teaching Karen to use Canva. There are a lot of features and they're pointing out that are, that are really cool. Oh yes, I learned how to shadow my photos here. Oh yeah. Line spacing. Ah, okay. So you can adjust your line spacing too. That's nice to make it a little bit easier to read. Cause sometimes yep. if you have like curly fonts, mm -hmm. it might be a little bit harder, but I really like that honey badger collection. That is like, that's the Harry Potter font you say? Nope, it isn't. It's one of the um, fonts from Canva. Mm, okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, can't. Catherine's already putting it to good use. I love Canva. I designed my business cards and banner for my first craft show. She did. Her branding is very nice. Thank and you. And she does a lot of great stories too on Instagram. So, yeah, so check her out. Crafts by Crafty Kathy. She is um, using all of her. Um, you could tell that she uses a lot of her Canva skills to create really nice graphics on her Instagram. And so there, I think my image looks decent. Uh, yeah, um, fabulous. So I'm going to stick with simple, but I think I might go bigger with the font. I might go a little bit bigger. Oops, what's, what's happening? What's happening? Okay, I want to highlight all of these. And they're all different sizes. So I'm going to type in the size I want. Yikes. Okay. Work with me, Canva. Let's move the flower over. Little flower. Okay. Now you can group that too. So that way you can adjust the whole thing if you want. I could. I'll just leave it though. I'm okay. going to leave it like that. Autumn Classics, never had a style. Lovely. Um, I like it. Okay. Now what do we do? We save it? Yep. Um, you can, and this is the fun part. The fun you part. Can, you can, this, the whole thing was fun, I think. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best part. Okay. So um, when you go up here to share, uh -huh. it gives you all of the things. So you can um, copy the link. You can share it. Like if you have, I know you have Canva, so I can send it to you, Karen. Mm -hmm. um, so you can edit it or tweak it. You can download it like you normally would any kind of image. It'll tell you um, a PNG file. You can do a JPEG if you want it to be like, you know, uh, general sharing. If you have, and this is the other thing that's really cool. So Canva is also mobile friendly if you don't know that. Um, and if you have it on your phone and you download to a JPEG, it'll automatically upload into your photo reel. So you don't have to worry about losing it. You know, um, it's not like somewhere in cyberspace on your phone, it's on your photos. So that makes it nice because then you can actually keep it however you want and how you want to save it. 
Can you post directly to Instagram from desktop? I think you can. Here's the Instagram business, Instagram personal. And if you have it connected, mm -hmm. you should be able to do it. So here's mine connected. And you write the caption. Oh, pay attention, folks. This is how it's done. And this how is how this is. I'm going to post it from my Instagram like right now. So um, let's see. Uh, absolutely, Catherine. She, Catherine's saying, I have it on my tablet, but not my phone. Maybe I should. Oh, my gosh. The convenience of creating a graphic on your computer and then just sending it off to Instagram. How how convenient is that? That's like oodles convenient. JJ goes, Dutch, you're, you're so skilled, my friend. Oh, yeah. JJ sounds like mad skills. JJ, do you have... Um, Instagram, uh, do you have an Instagram handle you could share with us? Do you put your Canva creations on Instagram? Go ahead and drop it in the comments if you do. Oh, Jess has got to leave. I hope you enjoyed it, Jess. This was so, this has been so much fun. We're in the last few minutes of our live, but I want to also do the same thing. So I'm going to hop over to mine and I'm going to use my skills. <laughs> To save. Okay, let's see here. Share. You said share, correct? Yep. Okay, so share. And then Instagram. Do I have my Instagram? No, I don't have my Instagram hooked up because I, I don't use Canva as much as, but I maybe, I may do it now. So do I go to download so it saves as an image? Because I'll likely send it to my phone. Okay. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download and then it suggests PNG. Do you do PNG or JPEG? It depends on what I'm using it for. Um, when it's on my phone, it's just, you know, PNG is fine. Um, and you can do that. But then you can obviously go back and save it again if you need to. Ah, okay. Uh, what do you recommend for Instagram? Um, honestly, PNG works the best. The best? Okay. So I'll keep it as PNG. And I'm going to download PNG Autumn Instagram Downloading. Try quick create for social media data science. We're not going to start any new processes for today. <laughs> so I'm going to let that let that um, download. And let, when I open it, it's, am I sharing this right now? Yeah. Um, let me just, okay, bear with me. I'm going to show you what my finished product looks like. Okay, so stop screen share. Share window. Boom. Okay. So if you guys see that on my Instagram, you made it right here live with Sheree and I, we just dropped this <laughs> on the, my channel. Oh, look, it's there. Okay. There's mine. So just for those who followed along during this, during this thing, I'm going to be posting this on my Instagram too. So if you see a pop up on my Instagram, then don't forget to comment that you watched along and now you have some insights into Canva. Cherie, can you do you have any closing things that you or tips that you'd like to share with us about Instagram? I mean, um, about Canva. So one last little tip: if you get the pro version, you can um, get rid of the background for their photos. Ah, okay. And that's a super easy thing. Literally, you just hit background remover, and it will automatically remove the background. So do that's something to keep one. in mind. Ah, so just something to keep in mind on just a little added extra for um, the Canva Pro version uh, if you decide to do that. But the biggest thing with Instagram and, you know, your branding, make sure it's consistent, make sure you have clear images and obviously make sure there's some sort of call to action or something on your posts um, if you're ready for that step. Um so yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the three big tips that I have. Amazing. Um, for Shari, you all. I think I need some one-on-one -on -one help with Catherine. Now, Kat, like if you don't already know, both Cherie and Catherine are also students in my Handmade Sales Success Academy. If you want to hang out with these ladies in real time, weekly, <laughs> we meet up every single week inside my coaching program. So feel free to, I'll leave the link below. If you want to schedule a free consult to find out if my handmade sales success academy is for you then just book a free call and uh, you'll talk to me directly and explore if i can help you with your business and if i have anything else that i can help you with so yes 
That's wonderful. Let's see. And removing the background is definitely a cool feature. I do use background removal in my paid version of Pig Monkey. I use it like crazy, but perhaps, perhaps I switch over. Maybe I'm going to check and see if this might be the thing. Because here in PicMonkey, you get all these temp templates too. I mean, uh, for the paid version. Do you mind me asking how much it is per month? Oh, I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> okay. Don't well, don't remember. worry about it. Cause, like maybe it's worth me exploring if I should go yeah. to the paid version of Canva instead. If it has this background removal. Totally, totally helpful. And it yes, it is totally helpful. I guess Catherine has the paid one too. Thank you. So much fun. So folks, don't forget to hit the like button if you learned anything new today and may, put in the comments what, were your, what was your favorite thing that you learned or what you love using from the features that we covered today. And if you think it's worthwhile, we bring Cherie back for more cool features and that sort of, for, for all the things, she, she's a whiz at Airtable as well. But I think Canva is just one of the coolest uh, applications that I have seen. Oh, look. Uh, Jeche pays $11. And Jojo says, thank you, ladies. And thank you guys for logging in on our live today. Um, I appreciate you. And I'll leave it with uh, Cherie to close out. Yeah, um, it's great to be here. I'm, I'm very excited to have this opportunity to be a little uh, tutorial bunny, guinea pig, whatever you want to call it, um, for, <laughs> for Karen. Um, this was my first tutorial uh, via live you know, so it was fun. I'm excited. Hopefully we can do it again. Oh, um, for sure. Yeah. And don't forget to go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. I don't post a lot of videos, but when I do, I think they're kind of entertaining. Um, so yeah. And uh, click the button, um, like, and subscribe for Karen, the partner um, link or whatever down there for Canva. Um, it is an affiliated link. So if you do sign up for pro, I get a little bit, which is nice. Um, and then obviously just go and check out all of our social stuff. So Karen's amazing. My stuff's getting there, but uh, her. Oh, you're, you're amazing, and you have only been crocheting for three years. If you didn't catch the beginning of this live stream, go back to it because Cherie is actually a new crocheter. I would never have guessed. She's quite <laughs> skilled. So um, we'll de we'll definitely do thumbs up to all. So friends, have a I Cherie, thank you so much for being on my channel and for sharing all of your knowledge. And ladies and and gentlemen, if you're out there, I wish you all a healthy, safe, and happy handmaking life. Don't forget to schedule a free call if you need any help. And we wish you a great week. Bye now.